Guild. The complaint is high action. Let's get it out, get it on the chopping block and have a look. Hold on. A Guild F50. Big body guitar. Nice looking guitar in good shape too. All except the action. Uh, someone's installed, a, the owner installed a uh, bridge doctor in it. I'll show you that in a few minutes. You might be able to see a little bit of it there, yeah. I'll show it to you more in a few minutes. The complaint is this action, if you can see that, is really high. Very high, all the way. It's even, the nut action's even high. Higher than I like. I haven't measured anything yet, but I can tell you the nut action's higher than I like it. It could come down. Frets look pretty good. Um, I guess it had a problem with the belly up here. And he put that bridge doctor inside of there to draw the, the, the beer belly back down on it. And there you can see there's a screw under here. They send you that uh, abalone dot to put over the screw. But uh, I'll get a mirror in there and show you what it looks like. But uh, it bellied up, and he put the bridge doctor in it, and I got a straight edge here, and you can see, man, check that out. There's no room there. Try to get this camera where you can see it. I think you can see it there. That needs to slide all the way back to the saddle like that without lifting it up, and it won't do it. So uh, we're either going to have to take that top down flatter or uh, may even require a neck reset or the other method of shaving material from the bridge. It's got quite a bit of thickness to it this way so we can shave this area here a little bit I'm not going to be able to take a lot off of it if we have to let's get the strings off and look inside see what we can do with the bridge doctor first F50 so I got the strings off got them loose I have a capo up here holding them down so I didn't have to take them off the pegs but I'll show you that uh, JLD bridge doctor if you can see that, it just mounts. Well, you can see where it comes up to the front of the bridge here. And it's got this screw right here under that abalone dot that screws into that block. And there's a rod there on the end of it, a dowel, that runs back to the uh, tail block down here in the bottom of the guitar. And then... Uh, that hole you see is an adjusting screw. Now that rod, that dowel, uh, that dowel, dowel, was crooked and this thing was loose. I could turn that adjusting screw with my hand. So I tightened it quite a bit and you can see how far back in there I drove it. I mean, it went a long ways back in there. JDL Bridge Doctor or Bridge System. I've installed those before and they usually work but uh, as tight as that one is uh, let me see if I can get everything together here for you straight edge on the neck here now the plane of that bridge should match the plane of this fretboard and you can see there it does not even with the bridge doctor in there it doesn't match that sucks, man. And it sucks a lot till you can see how much. You know, you could sand away material from the top of that bridge and lower it enough probably to make this guitar play without doing a neck reset on it. But uh, that's just a shame with the bridge doctor in there. The uh, bass side and the treble side. It just barely does slide up over the wings of the, of the uh, and it won't there. 
Well, it would, but it comes up a little bit. That's bad. I uh, still got a pretty good belly on it. Like I say, usually those bridge doctors work pretty nice. You can see the deflection there. And on both sides, actually. Uh, quite a bit of belly in that guitar yet, even with the bridge doctor in there. And that bridge doctor is tight, because I tightened it up a lot. It looks like maybe the bridge has been taken off of this guitar before and glued back on it. Yeah, it just looks like someone's been in there before. That looks like glue to me. I don't think it's pulled up. Should be just a string tension on it, but now you can see the paper won't go under there. So that's a good sign. But it does look like someone's had that bridge off before. Uh, so let me put the camera back in the tripod. Uh, I need to. The neck has got a forward bow in it. Uh, way too much relief. That alone would help a lot. And I need to really have the neck straight before doing this with a straight edge. Need to really have that neck perfectly straight for that, and it's not straight. So let's do that now. Hold on. That's pretty bad that the uh, these strings out of the way. Pretty bad that that uh, bridge doctor with the bridge doctor in there, and it's still got that much belly. I could tighten the bridge doctor some more, but I just don't think it would be a, a good idea to go much tighter with it. It did pull the belly down some, but uh, not like what you know what we would like to see. Good shot of the back of my head. <clears throat> oh man! Hope that's not what I think it is. Oh shit! Check that out! Holy shit! Wow! Broken truss rod. That's definitely not good. Definitely not good at all, man. Let me get the camera here. Hold on. Holy shit. Look at this. Truss rod is broken. No wonder it's got so much relief in the neck. This uh, adjusting nut... Let me get in some light. There you can see it. It's stripped up pretty bad. Someone's been hunting on that thing, man. Big time. It was just laying in there. Like that. That's how it was. Hmm. Well... I think we're done here. Hold on. Unbelievable. Well, folks, now you know what a broken truss rod looks like. Someone's really been bearing down on that thing, too. I can tell it's almost rounded off. Wow. Wow. No need in going any further because we can't adjust the neck without, with like that, broke. Well, obviously I'm going to have to talk to the owner on this and see what he wants to do. Uh, it's not the end of the world. We can strip the fretboard off of it and uh, take the old truss rod out and put a new rod in it as far as that goes if he wants to do that. So we have that option, but still quite possibly going to need a neck reset on this after we fix that. I don't know exactly the value on these guitars without looking it up, but I don't know if it's uh, worthy of a neck reset and a new truss rod. Mmm, man. I don't know. Anyways, 
that's it for today I guess uh, thank you guys for watching like I say I'll get a hold of the owner and uh, this belongs to a local friend actually uh, I don't know if he's a YouTube user or not I'm not sure but uh, anyways I can get a hold of him and find out what he wants to do uh, like I say, if we fix the truss rod, there's a chance we might be able to shave enough off of this bridge on top, this area right here. I think you can see that. Just enough to, to make it playable, but then you're still going to have all that relief in the neck, so it's not good. That's it's as bad. This is really bad. That right there is. I'm surprised you didn't hear it rattling around in there. So anyways, I'll talk to the owner and uh, keep it here, folks. I'll get back to you and let you know what we're going to do. You may or may not see this guitar again. I don't know. I'll talk to him and see what he wants to do. If he wants to go either way with it or neither way, whatever he wants to do, we'll do it at the house that never sleeps. Cheers to you. Peace. See you soon. Oh, yeah. I know you guys are waiting on that fret video, and I apologize for that. I'm just so covered up right now. Uh, you know, I was going to do, it's my guitar, and I was going to do it, you know, because I wouldn't have to rush on it. But right now, I've got this. Uh, uh, I've got a Martin guitar over there, and a fiddle, another fiddle coming in. I know you're going to love that. Another violin on its way in. I don't know when it'll be here, but uh, anyways, uh, I'll get back to you and let you know what's happening on this guitar. Cheers, peace, thanks to the subscribers, new and old alike. I appreciate all of you cats. Cheers to you. Drink more beer.